What's up guys? Um, a little different video today. It's been a while since I've done anything with um, shooting or guns or whatnot. Um, I've really, it's starting to cool off and it's easier to get out. Um, you know, those of you who follow me know that uh, I've recently moved to Texas. I say recently, I've been here a year and a half technically, um, but recently got settled in here in Texas. Um, I don't have property like I used to. Um, those of you who know me personally know I've always had, you know, some property to go shoot on. Or, um, long range air places to go shoot. Um, haven't really found any yet. I know that I know they're here. Um, anyway, long story short, uh, what we're gonna do today is I've been working on my um, uh, Benjamin Armada. Try to get it in view here. So, if you know anything about these, if you watch this video, you may, you know, very well have dialed in, or say dialed in, sorry. <laughs> you probably tuned in to uh, strictly watch what I'm about to do and check it out. So, uh, I found this company last year uh, when I was messing around with my AR-15 um, called Luth AR. And cool company. Um, as far as I know, it's USA Products. Uh, I if you know me well enough you know that I, I try to do everything as much as I can on a budget um, so you know it's kind of hard to spend 300 bucks on a butt stock or something like that so I got ready to do some mods on my uh, Benjamin Armada 22 caliber um, kind of get back into plinking a little here in my backyard I got a little 20 yard area that I can shoot in my backyard it's all I got um, but uh, decided to make a video, just kind of a review, uh, somewhat of an un not an unboxing technically, but you know, just kind of checking it out. So let me swap the camera around. All right, so what do you get in the box? Um, as you can see, there's um, you get all of that in view. You know, there's a bunch of different NBA one, NBA two, NBA three. What I have here is the NBA three Luth AR NBA three. Uh, stock so MBA stands for modular buttstock assembly um, so what I ordered was the MBA 3 sorry if I'm shaking the table and this is what you get in the box um, it's I'm sure there's plenty of videos if uh, I don't cover everything you need to know it fits a um, well let me just say this I was looking at the Magpul uh, Gen 3 uh, PRS I think it's called stock um, with that you've got to have a standard fixed stock tube and set up on your gun and I don't want to do that I want to keep my adjustable well these Luth ARs they allow you to continue to use your uh, your standard um, adjustable tube um, that way I can just swap it out so I can take this off and drop it on something else if I want to um, this the butt pad is uh, adjustable it is adjustable out as well as the position this way and then as you saw me do the uh, ooh, that was loud seems seems pretty well made uh, I don't see anything alarming at first uh, it's got the logo on the side uh, you got I, I am planning on doing that as well you can get the uh, monopod to connect here. Um, I, uh, and any fine, fine adjustments, uh, sorry, fine tune adjustments. Here's a, uh, I just noticed this actually. There's an Allen wrench right here and I'm assuming it fits all these little screws and stuff. Um, so, you know, there's, it's a budgeted version uh, basically of the PRS feels feels uh, solid and I'll tell you in a minute when I get it on so along with this I also got a uh, hand grip I'm gonna have to look at the uh, 
thing to tell you what it's called, but it's also Luth AR. But it is uh, for a right-handed assembly. And uh, I actually put this on, this is how I found them last year. Uh, I put this on my AR. And so the only complaint I know I have after using it on my AR, it's not rubberized. I wish it was rubberized, but it's not. But it does feel amazing. Now, over the standard grip, um, yeah, it's way better. Um, they send you some stickers. They send you some other information. There's another sticker. Um, yeah, LutheAR.com. Um, they have quite a bit of stuff. I've still got, um, I've still got some stuff to do to my AR, and I'm planning on using some of their gear. So let me see. So the, it's MBA, MBA3B carbine butt stock in black and then this is the chubby grip <laughs> that's what it's called pg01k um i'll try to put a link down in the description so that's what you get in the box all right so putting on the rifle um should be fairly easy as far as this butt stock's concerned uh we got this standard style you just grab the, the lever at the bottom and you pull it straight down sorry about shaking the table you pull that straight down and it releases the uh, the pin inside I'll show you that you just pull it it relieves the pin inside and you just drop it right off and you got your standard um, AR style tube and that is what this is made to fit so now if you look it's hard to see um, this pin there's a pin right here I'm trying to do that a little better there's a pin right here there's a, some notches that this thing has to fit to bring it all the way down. So, so it, it can come down easily, but if you want to come down to the point of the buttstock coming off, you got to align some notches there. So keep an eye out on that. And there it is. Um, there's what she looks like. Um, all right. It, uh, already know that I need it out slightly. Oh yeah. Actually, I need to lower that just a touch. Ah, too much. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I don't know about this back pad much, but we'll see. Oh yeah. That feels pretty good. That's uh, we get lined up. Oh yeah, there we go, nice. Oh yeah, that feels good. All right, so it is no more wobbly than, um, this is a Palmetto State Armory. So first off, let me just say this. This is the tube that came on the Benjamin Armada. Uh, the, the butt stock that came on it seemed to rattle quite a bit. I have uh, a couple of Palmetto, ugh, Palmetto State Armory rifles. Um, so I have a couple of these laying around. I found that this fits a little snugger on this tube than um, the stock, what came on the gun. So this has about the same little tiny bit of play. Um, but I have been told that if I change out this tube for a standard style tube, um, that it'll be good solid. And I'll, maybe I'll do that in a future video. All right, so now for the handle. Um, the Armada has um, an Allen wrench, and I don't have my glasses, so I am not gonna be able to read this to tell you what size it is. I just literally, um, honestly, it looks like it says 3 16 but I, I don't know. Find an Allen head. Oh, it's not gonna zoom. Find an Allen head that'll fit, put it on the screwdriver in, reach in there till you feel it. 
and turn it over. It's just like a, a M4 style, a, you know, AR-15. It's pretty typical from what I can tell. No difference. The, um, the chubby, the chubby grip comes with a bolt, but what I found with my, the M4, my uh, AR-15 is I literally just put it back uh, just like it was. I don't necessarily know why. Let's see, first off. Ooh, that was a little tight grip. One second. All right, same bolt that come out of it. Just put it back in. Sorry for the shakiness and sorry for the wind. I know that's getting the best of us. Not the best video, but we'll make it work. And I'm not an air gun ex expert. Um, I have been dealing with guns for quite a long time. So, all right. So, there's that. I have it in. Let's see how it feels. So, there's the old standard skinny. If you want to see a good comparison, uh, like this. Um, stand it up <laughs> you can tell that the um, the loot they are one is quite a bit um, bigger <laughs> it fits my hand really well god that feels good it uh yeah it doesn't really change anything it's it's got the same cut out here fit and finish feels pretty good um, doesn't put my hand in any weird position. So obviously you guys know that most of this is cosmetic. Um, so it looks amazing. It looks awesome. But I do know that it's gonna shoot awesome too. I have to say, this feels really really good a lot better probably gonna adjust the butt pad down slightly play with that in a minute sorry for the wind going for bullseye Hi. All right. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Um, I actually have, uh, I've got a new pump in. This is a PCP rifle. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's a beast of a 22 caliber rifle. Uh, if you're a fan of Benjamin, you know what I'm saying. Um, so, I actually got a box in there right now. I'm fixing to go do an unboxing on. So stay tuned. Catch the next video. Uh, obviously, my videos are all over the place. Um, so it's getting cooler weather. I like shooting in the cooler weather. I hadn't done it in a while. So probably going to uh, try to stretch this thing out at a range as soon as I can find one. But uh, all right. Thanks, guys.